Right then, a little bit of a different intro this week. I'm also cooking Cozy's lunch, so sorry about the noise. So today, I'm gonna surprise Liana, and she's gonna love it. I hope. Actually, let's make a coffee first. <laughs> Right now. Is it weird making coffee in a pint glass? Probably, but here we are. So a few months back, I saw something really cool online and I just knew as soon as I saw it that I had to surprise Liana with this. But before I tell you what the surprise is, over the last week, we've spent time with Dave in the workshop working on our van. Don't you go skipping. I promise you, the end of the video where I surprise Liana, it's not going anywhere. It's always gonna be at the end of the video. So eventually you'll get there. Get yourself a brew, you know, or get a, whatever, whatever you want, some sort of beverage that you enjoy. Sit back, relax, you, you'll get there. Trust me, just watch, watch the van build, it's fun. Right, new week, new Starbucks drink. Boo. Well, big, you know, hold on, hold on, hold <clears> on. <throat> It's a cooler day today, so I think we should try a warm drink for him. A large cappuccino, uh, cappuccino. with oat milk. Could I get a... Uh, oh, could you make that blonde roast, please? That's it, thank you very much. She's just so lovely. I love her so much. I guess we'll catch you at the warehouse. <laughs> it's a new week, a new right, drink. Today we've got a cappuccino, blonde roast. With oat milk. What, what does blonde roast mean? The barista was blonde. You've got a tea drink or a coffee. With oat milk with and oat a bit milk, of caramel. Which I'd have in, in my tea anyway. It smells nice. Again, Dave, you can enjoy it. It's, it's, it's all going. It's actually quite nice. You like it? Oh, nice. Nice. Again, for a coffee. It's no tea, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm giving 4.2. We're going to have to try and find a five not before a five. the van's yeah, done. Nice. I don't think a five exists. Right, well, I'm just saying, Connor's got a gift off Dave, and I, I'm, I'm not being given it's a gift. Because I've been fooled with that before. Have you? There is no glass hammer. No, it's, it's very useful. You wait there, I'll get it. Bring on the gift. We've got to do um, the usual sort of guess what it is. Oh, okay. Oh. Bit of a shake. What is that? You did a new handbrake. <gasps> oh! oh! Can I ever go? Yeah, yeah, you want to feel? Yeah. yeah. Go on then, you can't look. No, I know. Cheating. Right, well my guess is the top of the handbrake and the bottom of the handbrake. Oh, there we go. Is it? It is actually. Yeah! You like yeah! You, want to get you actually yeah. did a handbrake for us. That bit, that, that was all you. Well, I just tried to swivel the chair. It's a gouge. Oh, Gordon Bennett. I, I personally felt a bit bad about that because even though you told me to keep swiveling. Is that clearing the handbrake? I think so, yeah. Nope. <laughs> that was a crunch. Come on. Oh, yeah. It was yeah, my, it was all Dave's yeah. fault. I did say oh, that one. So it's half a gift, really, and this is just an apology. That's just that's an apology. Yeah. Well, that's fair enough. Sorry, and you're welcome. What, what are we doing today then, Cozy? You got the instructions out. Yeah, he's just going to make sure that Dave's doing everything right. Yeah. yeah. He's just that's worked out that he put put the holes in the wrong place. So did he, yeah. did he work so, that out? Um, yeah. yeah. Whoa! Look at the size of our awning. We can have a small party out under this. We can have a big party under that. We can have a big party under this, I reckon. And that is a record quick day. We've been here five minutes and we're going home because Dave has made a severe mistake on the van, which means we have to leave him to rectify it. And it's looking like we're going to need to buy a new one at this point. A new van? Yeah. yeah. He's put too many holes in the roof. Too many. Too many. Yeah. But there's just nothing for us to do. That was all a complete lie. So we're back for another day and I don't know what some of you lot have been up to, but Dave has had a package labelled God Save the Dave. <laughs> what did the postman say? God Save the Dave? Like, in a sort of weird way, is he ending it to me? That's kind of half explained. But then what, what do you say? Just, I wouldn't know. It's just a bit of an awkward encounter, really. Let's hope he's not a royalist, because he might have been offended. Maybe. What That's could it be? Know. It's definitely a white mug. Nothing on it. <laughs> Very good. Hey, you've got a workshop mug. Someone's bought that off our Four store, days. I would assume, and they've sent it to Dave, which is very generous. It is. Thank you very much. It's empty as well, though, so. Are you expecting to put some <laughs> someone, someone could sort that out? Well, we've got an update. Yeah. What? Well, the update is. What? Dirty footprints on my floor. Right, but. You sealed it. 
It's fine. We've come in this morning and Dave has fit the other swivel chair. I have. I'm not being funny, but the colours of the bases, they aren't a perfect match, Dave. Are they not? Hmm. I'd say that's pretty bad. Well, I don't think they are. Well, for a start, you're not going to see that side all Hold on, side, hold on. Right? Listen, I don't want excuses, Dave. <laughs> they're not excuses, they're reasons okay. why you need to shut up. <laughs> Does that completely swivel with no, oh, like, interruption? Not Watch the handbrake. Oh, no, wrong side, sorry. Oh, cool. Lovely. Now I can see how much space we're going to have in the middle as well. So now is the twitchy bum time because we're about to do an operation. If this goes wrong, <laughs> well, it could be a very expensive mistake. And it's all in Dave's hands. I can't do the way for this one, don't tell So basically, what we're doing right now is working on the Starlink. To cut a long story short, because it's an extremely boring story, we didn't want to just whack out the Starlink um, wherever we went and then put it away, get it out, put it away, get it out, put it away. What we're saying is, the Starlink that stays on the top of your van was like, wasn't it like 800 pounds or something silly like that? No, more than that. So we bought the one that doesn't stay on the top of your van, but we kind of want it to stay on top of that. And Dave said that he's going to DIY that. I've watched nearly three videos of people doing <laughs> it now. That is less than four, but it's more than two. <laughs> So the Starlink is now on the operating table and we've got to try and yes. open this up, which isn't actually, well, it's not allowed really. They don't like you to do it. No. So, Elon's um, not happy. But we do have a waiver for Dava. Oh. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm not signing that. Oh, maybe I could. What's wrong with that? If any damage falls, Dava. No, no, no. Right. I'm happy with that. What are we saying? Is that a fair deal? Fair, sir. All right. Well, I'm happy with that. Okay. I should have. Right, if I was going to do that, I could have made it. You could have made lots of zeros. I could have. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Never mind. What's that going to be? About three quid. We all know that maths doesn't sit well in this. In this Can you date that as well, please? I don't Just... know what the date is. Right, there we sorted. go. Now that's all signed. We're, we're, uh, um, we're good to go. We've got a brew. So we've got different screwdriver sizes. This is actually quite scary. And these things that I thought, well, if we do manage to get in. To pry slip, it. Slip it in. Yeah. Just as a sort of placeholder. If things get messy, <laughs> we'll just smash we can it. Just, just start hammering. Cozy. Yeah. Right, here we go. Possibly the most delicate job we've had since starting the van build. This is good, this is a bit of movement. The other side might be cracked, but Becky's still a savage. Tap it, slap it. We've got a cat with no pulse. <laughs> if you ask me, Dave, this is going well. This bit is, I'm not happy with the other side. Might just have to buy another one anyway, just because I'm not happy with the... Just go crack. again. Yeah. Imagine if it doesn't work after all of this though, and it can't get a signal. I've changed my mind. I think you might have curly hair. About this, then <laughs> I've changed my mind. I don't want to open it up. <laughs> For God's sake, if we pull this off, I'll be so impressed. And it actually works round and round, round and round. Hopefully, this just comes off nice and easy. Whoa! Whoa! That's it. Okay, so this is the setup we've got going for now. That is just the bare front for now. For now, what? That's it. Well, no, a bit of tape. Yeah, sorry, of course. Let's see if this bad boy still works, and if it doesn't, Dave owes us three quid. Oh. oh. Well, as you can see, we're online. Woo! But now I've got to do a browse test, because you never know. Wow. Considering that's pointing straight up, right next to your doors 218 download that's great mission success whoa, 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 whoa. It's, it's not, not on the roof yet it's not on the roof we've got to build the case that's the easy bit yeah but that's, yeah, I'll that's a job yeah. done we're happy with that yeah. get too carried it's a small win it's a small win it's usually connor that gets to say this but i'm using a new tool He's filming, it's fine. I thought he meant that little handheld thing over there. This is way cooler than that little handheld thing. I know. It's very loud. Oh, very loud. It's dusty. Most of all, it's the most dangerous oh, thing that's been used yet. Oh, why am I doing yet. this? Just from the point of view of losing a finger. Yeah. So 
you may notice Dave doing some odd arm swings and hand movements. Now I don't know about you, but to me it kind of looks like he's teaching me how to row a boat. Which I initially thought was strange, especially as we were halfway through cutting the wood. Either that or he wanted a game of charades, but turns out he was actually trying to tell me to pull the wood through. <laughs> what I meant by I that. Know. You started sort of pulling it to one side so we had a nice even cut and then... Listen, you didn't tell me beforehand that I'd need to pull it by the end, I didn't know. So we'll just need to make sure we, we'll cut that bit off where it went wrong <laughs> and burn it. After Dave properly explained what we were doing here, I pretty much nailed it. Should we do it? Yeah. We now had to do this 19 times until the wood was cut. A bit of a tedious job, I won't lie, but it was a job that has to be done. Well, Dave's friends turned up and they're having a chat, so we're a bit bored. So we thought we'd have a bit of a wizard off, whatever that is. My wand is broken. Oh, Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> I'll be the Cthulhu. Oh, Guardian Leviosa. Once we'd finished our wizard off, which I clearly won, Dave returned and we cut the last few slats of wood before I started my second day of drum lessons. So you need to keep your elbow up, really. Yeah. Oh, you can lower that down. If that's, if that's uncomfortably high, you can Oh, maybe it. that's what it is. Right, we're back. This is our last day this week because Dave's going on his holly bobs. Well, technically, we might be coming in the morning. Then he's going on his holly bobs. Yes. Where you are? Oh, don't make me. Chran Roost. Is that right? We'll give it him. Yeah. You need more of a. You need more phlegm, Dave. More phlegm. What, what is it? It's not. It's. Chran Roost. Chran Roost. Yeah. It's not that. It, yeah. It's not meant for the English tongue. Chran Roost. So the slat, well, the wonky slats that I made yesterday were basically using for samples to see what colour we're going to put on the roof. So, I mean, it's Full not dry. Strength, yeah, this is our Medium, strength. and then this is going to be basically just Somewhere water, right? <laughs> I personally think I'm going to want to go for the darkest option. And do you want to know the biggest joke of all? You. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> the biggest joke of all is after I said I wasn't too sure about the shower I did because I knew it would take up a lot of space. I said this from the beginning. Connor's decided he doesn't want it anymore. Well, I've just hold on. I've not completely decided I don't want it. I've just decided that maybe we should look at other options. So we're waiting for Helen to arrive Helen's, so we can talk about Helen's different the things. Designer. Well, she's the mood board expert, isn't oh. she? Really? Right. So we marked out where we were going to have. Well, we didn't. Well, these. Dave, this is the possibilities. So there's a smaller tr shower tray. Yeah, and the problem with and this a larger one is. You probably wouldn't. If it's the smaller There's one, no you, you can't a drop a deuce, basically, without yeah, being you uncomfortable. Could, you could shower could with the door open. That's showerable. Like a penguin. <laughs> yeah. Like that? Yeah. But yeah, if, you, if you're going to try and... You can't... Once you put your, your portable loo in... Yeah. You're not going to be comfortable. you slab foot? <laughs> you slab foot! <laughs> so this means, yeah. if we were going to have a shower, we'd have to have the bigger one. But, look at the size of the bigger one. It's big, and also you've got to take into account that the, the wall is also on the outside of that yeah. line. So there's even more room now. So now, what do we do with this space? Exactly. Starbucks. Oh, very A barista place. area. Yeah. Well, today we've come in to find Dave cleaning his own bloody car. Can you believe that? Oh, who would do such who a thing? Who would do that? I'm going on holiday. You've got to wash your car before you go on holiday. I mean, he's, not, he's not wrong. Mm. I mean, Liana did offer to wash, but... <laughs> so what are we doing today, Bobby? I've got no idea. If I'm completely honest with you, we pretty much spent the whole day sanding again, which was extremely boring. Unfortunately, some days you just have to get stuff done and it isn't very entertaining. As much as we'd love to show you the ins and outs of this build, we also don't want you guys falling asleep on us. We both completely sucked at sanding anyway. Before we went home, we managed to cut a template for the space above the cab. We're hoping to put some shelving up so we can have a little bit more storage. We're not entirely sure what we're going to use this space for, but when you're traveling with a baby, you should never say no to more storage. You've got to be able to get in and out without whacking your head. From this or from here? Well, in from... No, not up there. Pardon? You're not you want me up to there. climb up here? No, no, This no, is no, the no, bed. No, no. This is the I'm bed. My wrist can't take that. Calling you fat ear in there. Should I be offended? If you want to be, that's fine. It doesn't bother me. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm offended. Right. Get a move on. Right, so if I'm coming, I've just, I've made a brew. Here we go, into the cab. No. That's a teeth breaker. That's a teeth. What is it? Yeah, that's a teeth breaker. Is it, it is. It is teeth level. Right, but we have to look at it from the point. If I've got a buckled knee whilst carrying the brew, I've got to bend. But 
it's going to give me a bit of a one of them bobbing walks. So I'm going to be up and down. Your teeth so. are all right. <laughs> You'd have no teeth. <laughs> Yeah, me, tea, me brew would be gone all over the new seat. So if I'm completely fit and healthy, I'd probably do that. But if everything's buckled, <laughs> we're a bit screwed. If everything's buckled, put you on a belt. That was quite good. Was it, was it though? Well, I think, yeah. Why? I need to have a go, because if it? I've got a bun on... Yeah, you, you've got higher hair than me. Yeah. All right, so let's say Liana's coming through. Yeah. Luckily, she doesn't wear high heels. You're gonna get snagged. You're gonna get bunned. You're gonna get bunned. Right, that's it for this week. Dave's off on his Ollie Bobs. He's going to Wales. Yes. Some sort of souvenir, Dave. That's oh, all we're asking. Okay. Stick a rock, whatever you fancy. So this week we seem to have gone backwards to go forwards. Dave has actually come up with the Starlink framing. Parts have been ordered. They're on the way. They're on the way. Yep. So that is a DIY project for next week, I assume. And then we've got to, you know, put everything back together and um, put it on the roof somehow and work out how that's going to work. That's going to be fun. But that's it for this week. Yeah, we've got nothing to do over the weekend. So that's pretty sad for me. That, you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into So before I let you know what the surprise is, let's just backtrack a little with a little story time. When Cozy arrived, we felt so unbelievably blessed, but he was such a big boy, Liana unfortunately had a tough time delivering him. As soon as she came out of theater, I knew something wasn't quite right. The doctors wouldn't leave her side. They were constantly checking on her. Most of you will know the story, but if you don't, there is a video that we posted on our YouTube channel of our birth journey. So to cut a very long story short, Liana lost a lot of blood after giving birth, which ultimately led to her breast milk drying out. Eventually, Liana would be pumping so little breast milk that it wouldn't even provide one feed. This is all I'm getting at, what is the point? And it's not even enough to feed my baby. Not to mention all the time she spilt the breast milk on the floor after pumping, which was very upsetting. When she sat there for so long with these pumps on her breasts and then to take it off and just spill it all over the floor. It, it was just, it was almost heartbreaking. Someone actually messaged Liana and said, it's okay if you spill your breast milk, you're feeding the babies in the sky, which is just the nicest thought. And just another example of how you guys are always there for us when we need you the most. Liana did make a whole video on why she stopped breastfeeding or why she couldn't breastfeed anymore. I don't like speaking for her. So if you do want to go and watch that video, it's still on our channel too. So going back to the surprise, I've probably confused a lot of you. What has that story got to do with the surprise that you've got for Liana. We had some leftover breast milk that we'd bagged up and put in the freezer. We'd saved it because we'd heard that putting breast milk in a bath is great for your baby's skin and Cozy would come up with a rash every now and then. It was probably just a dribble rash, but obviously new parents worry about everything. So we used to give him breast milk baths and it always worked. Mummy's breast milk was literally magical. You'd take him out of the bath and the inflammation was pretty much gone every time. But when I was checking to see if we had any fish fingers for tea, I noticed that we were down to one last bag of breast milk. For some reason, that was really sad for me and I, I just wanted to keep it. I don't know if this sounds weird, but I just didn't want to let go of the last bag. I don't know why, it was just like an overwhelming feeling of, oh my gosh, I don't, I, 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 I don't know what to do. I don't want to just waste this. Maybe it's just because I saw how hard she worked to provide for our baby boy. I don't know, maybe it's because of what she went through. Oh, it's so hard not to get emotional doing this. I'm so sorry. Basically, I just, I didn't want this last bag to go to waste. Not that any of it had gone to waste, but yeah, I don't know. It's a weird connection with this breast milk bag. <laughs> so after a little bit of research, I actually found a company that can turn your remaining breast milk into jewelry. Here it is. A few months later, and it arrived. She has absolutely no idea that I've done this, so this is a complete surprise, which just makes this so much better. I hope she's okay with me doing this with the last bag of breast milk, but I'm sure she will be because now she gets to keep it forever. I'm gonna let her show you because it's all wrapped nicely. But yeah, let's go and surprise her. Peepo. Cozy. I love you. Okay, mummy pants. I've got you a surprise. <laughs> you don't look very surprised. I'll just give it to you because there's no need for suspense. Do you know what it is? Oh, I was kind of thinking that you'd know by the sticker. Be Special because you just know pretty much everything about everything, especially online stuff. Podge. Yeah, I gift wrapped it myself. No, you didn't. No, I, di I didn't. Hey, look, Cozy's coming oh for a <laughs> He's coming for Hello. a look. What's Mama yeah, got? Mommy. He's like, whoa, new thing. Let me in. Oh my gosh, Podge. It's a family occasion. Oh no, Cozy. Cozy. He's pulling Cozy. all the bits out of the box. <laughs> 
Um, do you know what? That's so cute. Do you know what that is? So what's the rest of it? Well, actually, get it. You can open it all first, and then I'll explain. Do you like them, first of all? So cute. Okay, good. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, they came out so good. So cute. So that is actually your breast milk. <laughs> what? That's your breast milk. My breast milk? Yeah, I turned your breast milk into into jewellery. You know, we had a bag left in the freezer. I sent off the last bag so that we could get it for jewellery. So that it could, I guess, last forever. They, they look so much better than I thought they would. Does it fit? <laughs> <laughs> just about. Okay, good, good. <laughs> That's okay, I think, I just, yeah. Oh, then I get a cuddle and everything. Yay! I did something nice and it worked out for once. I'm glad you like them. I didn't just want to get you, like, um, one thing, because you have to send, like, quite a big amount off, so I thought, why not use it all? Because it go you can't use breast milk after a certain amount of time, anyway, can you? I mean, if you used the one that was in the freezer, that was probably long gone, to be honest. Yeah, it, I think it probably was. I'm so happy with how they came out. Oh, my gosh. Cozy's having a fantastic time <laughs> pulling everything out of the box. <laughs> Aren't you, Cozy boy? What you got? <laughs> Here you go, Mummy, you can have this. I've got a surprise. <laughs>